Once your application's been filed with the government department, they'll need to examine that to make sure that it can be registered. Now, at this time, the two main things that will come up will be the issue that we previously went over, that your trademark's actually not capable of distinguishing your product or service from other people's. And that happens when the name is too descriptive or generic, or it's generally likely that another business owner would need to use the same thing in the normal course of their business. The second issue is that there's actually already a similar trademark registered, covering the same or related goods or services in Australia. So that's where having the search conducted first can be a real time and money saver by identifying whether there are similar trademarks already registered in Australia. That examination by the government department will take somewhere around four months on average. Now at that time, they will issue a report if they find any problems, um, or they'll issue a notice of acceptance if there are no problems found. If a, if a report is issued to you that outlines some problems, usually it will also outline uh, some options for you to consider in terms of overcoming those problems. And also quite often, there will be options that aren't listed in that report. So even if you've chosen to file your own application, keep in mind that receiving a report is not necessarily the end of the road for your trademark, and it may be worth uh, enlisting some additional assistance at that time to determine if it's viable to still move forward and gain registration of that trademark. If a report's issued, you'll be given 15 months to actually respond to that report. So there is ample time to seek assistance and opinion and perhaps move forward still. If you do move forward and do so successfully, you'll then receive the notice of acceptance. At whatever point your notice of acceptance is issued, if you're able to overcome problems or if there are no problems to begin with, that will outline the fact that your trademark needs to be advertised as accepted in what's called the official journal of trademark. Now the purpose of that advertisement is actually to allow other people a chance to write in and object to your trademark becoming registered. So tip number one, make sure your trademark is in fact a trademark. Tip number two is to remember that the process is a long one. It does take a minimum of seven and a half months to register a trademark in Australia um, and at least four months to know whether it's going to be approved. Um, so for that reason, still conduct as, as many searches as you can before going ahead and consider having a professional trademark search conducted to ensure that time's not wasted. My third tip is to know the future of your business. By being too narrow in describing your products and services now, you'll find yourself needing to file new applications um, to cover your trademark in the future for any additional product or service you release. By knowing the future of your trademark now, you can include as many products or services on the one application for the one cost and hopefully keep your cost down in the future. My fourth tip is to register any logo trademark in black or white. Now in Australia, it won't matter too much whether you file a colour or a black and white representation of your logo, as a colour won't actually be a part of your trademark unless you specify the colour uh, is to be a feature of the trademark. Other countries, however, will see a colour representation and assume that means you want the colours to be a part of the trademark. So by filing in black and white in Australia to begin with, you make the process a little bit easier and ensure a more flexible protection in any overseas trademarks uh, that you might choose to file down the track. My fifth tip is just to be aware when it comes to importing and exporting products that trademarks are a country by country process. So registration of your trademark in Australia does not guarantee that that same name or logo will be available in the event you wish to export your product to another country. If you do have exporting plans, uh, it can pay sometimes to do some basic searches amongst the different countries uh, that you envision your brand being exported to, just to make sure that you'll be able to keep that one name um, for your product across different markets. Um, so of course, I'd welcome any questions um, that you might have about registering your trademarks in Australia, and you can contact me via our website, which is www.m mwtrademarks.com.au and my name was Jackie. Thank you.